Okay, we found a very interesting formula for triangle numbers. Then how about square number? Uh, right? How about pentagon, right? So actually Pythagoras did all these stuff, right? So let's look at the next square number case. So same notation, same concept. So for triangle numbers we use C sub a uh, T sub N. So square number we are gonna use S sub N style. So let's compare this number of dots in these diagrams and finding out what is going to be the corresponding number for square number. Right? So S1 is 1, and S2 is 4, and S3, we're just adding that extra line, so it makes 9 dots. So we keep doing this way. So for example, S5, then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, so we have 16 previously, but we're adding these 9 more dots there, so make it all together, it's 25, right? And we are going to keep doing it. So that's <coughs> same procedures. What is going to be the formula to get those numbers? Simply, right? So let's just try to do very similar way, like uh, corresponding each other, right? So from S1 to S4, we look at this one is 1 plus 3, which means it's S1 plus 3, right? And next one is 4 plus 5, right? From given previous number 4, we just add 5 more. So we can say that is S2 plus 5. In next case, from 9, right? Plus another 9, right? So that is S3 plus 9. Okay. Oh, it's a, sorry, it's a 7. Okay. And the next one is, is uh, 16 plus 9, right? So it's S4 plus 9. Okay. So can you see some patterns here? Like that, when you look at this number, 3, 5, 7, 9. Okay, so that is a hint. So it's going to be S sub n is the previous one, like S sub n minus 1 plus, now let's look at the relation. 2 is matching with 3, 3 is matching with 5, 4 is matching with 7, 5 is matching with 9. Can you see those relations? It's like a double of that sub number minus 1, right? So 2 times 3 minus 1 is 5. 2 times 4 minus 1 is 7, right? So it's going to be 2 times the pre uh, that given number, right? And minus 1 should be the, the, the new number we should add there. Okay? okay, so this is one nice formula for that. But we have same situation. To calculate any Sn, we need Sn minus 1, the previous number, and we need the previous one of it again, right? So it requires a lot of work to get that result. Just imagine we want to get S of 100, then we need S99, which to get that one, we need S98, right? Ooh, it's just too much work. Then is there any way uh, to find uh, the number? When you look at uh, this one again, let me just erase it. Then let's look at this case in a different point of view. First of all, just follow me, don't ask me why. We know S2 is 1 plus 3, okay? And for 9 is 3 plus 6. So right now, what I did here is using the previous number it looks like a zero plus one you can think that so in 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 the previous equation use the second number to get 
next ones, right? 1 plus what is remains? 3, right? Then using this 3 over here, and then we need 6, right? So in that way, 16, we want to use 6, right? From here, then how much we need? 10, right? Then let me do one more time. S sub 5, then it should be, according to this formula, we have to put 10, right? Then how much do we need? We should get 25, so it's going to be 15, right? And we can keep doing that just to compare with the, the diagram, right? These dots, right? Then we can figure out those numbers like that, right? Then when you look at this 1, 3, 6, these new numbers we added, right? 10, 15. Does it look like very familiar to us? Okay. We, we did this one a long time ago, right? In your life. You, you, already, you already saw this one before, right? Can you remember when you see that? If you study this one all together right now, maybe about five minutes ago, we saw that, right? Can you see that? One, three, six, ten, okay? The next one is 15, like this. It's triangle number, right? So to get this square number, all we need is sum of two triangle numbers, right? So when you see those, we can actually find for arbitrary uh, square number for n, right? It's actually sum of the triangle number of tn minus 1 and tn. Okay? When you look at it, you can see that. Right? Okay, nice, right? So, this means what? Yeah, we have better formula, right? When you compare this one and that, we have better ones. But the problem is, okay, then we have to calculate those, right? Okay, so, to calculate it, what is Tn? Is n times n plus 1 over 2, right? So what is tn minus 1? It is n minus 1 times n over 2, right? So we have to calculate this for each n, right? But actually from there, we can find some nice formula out of it. So that is actually the proof of this entire, right? So sn is tn minus 1 plus tn. So without using that one directly, because it requires the, the calculation, let's really look at what happens for that. So, okay, sorry. n minus 1 times n over 2 plus n times n plus 1 over 2, which means n squared minus n over 2 and n squared plus n over 2. So it's 2n squared over 2, right? I have to cancel out plus n minus n. Then I have to cancel out that too. We have n squared. That's the formula. So, Sn is n squared. That's a square number. Yeah, it's a square number. <laughs> From the beginning, you can think that way, right? But anyway, so we have another uh, three formulas for Sn. Okay? And this one is the easiest one. And another interesting stuff, finally, is when you look at and see how many dots each time we add it, let's look at this diagram again. It's 1, the next case is 1 plus 3, and next is 4, the given one is 4, and we're adding 5 extra ones. Okay, the next one is those 9 plus 7, right? In that manner. But when you pulled out that one, like this way, right? The previous one is 1 plus 3, 5. And that is 9. So instead of 9, we can put 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7, right? So as S1, the se sequence of this SN is 1, 1 plus 3, 1 plus 3 plus 5, 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7. You see, right? What's going on, right? So, for any arbitrary n, it should look like 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus up to 
two n minus one. Please see how we get there. Okay, this is for s four, right? and we know the result. Right, s n must be in this way. So all together, finally, we have another way to look at this one. Right? Forget square number, whatever. You can say the sum of odd numbers up to 2n minus 1 must be same as n squared. Right? So we start from this square numbers, right? And it turns out that yeah, we got totally new kind of results. It's the same result, but the way of looking at it is totally new, right? Just the sum of odd positive integers up to 2n minus 1 is same as just n squared. So for this uh, practice question, what it's asking is like this. The first one is 1, s1. And S2, you can look at this one like this, right? Adding that. And next one, from this one, we're just adding these five more points, right? So we can think that is 1 plus 3. This one is 1 plus 3 plus 5. And the next one, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and adding those seven points more, right? So all together is 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7, right? So when you go this way, eventually, for a certain time, we are going to have 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus up to 2 n minus 1, right? Okay, and when you look at it, this is S1, right? That is S2, S3, S4, right? Just look at those numbers, right? And this one should be S7, right? Because it's 2n minus 1, right? 2n minus 1, so 2n minus 1, we we'll just use n there. So Sn must be sum of 1 through 2n minus 1. Okay, but if it's just like we have, uh, in this case we have n and n, right? Okay. Because S4 means what? 4 and 4, right? So all together we are going to have n squared there, right? In the picture. But that is just a kind of graphical way of explanation. But let's really try to find the another the formula we already checked before, which is like this one the relation between the triangle numbers and square numbers. So <coughs> These are what you have, right? S, uh, the two squared, which means S2, right? And at the three squared is S3, right? And that is S4. We know those, right? So eventually it goes to some N squared, which is Sn, right? And its corresponding numbers using triangle numbers is 4 is 1 plus 3, 9 is 3 plus 6, right? Like that. So the first one is same as T1 plus T2. Second one is T2 plus T3. And third one is T3 plus T4, right? So it's very simple and it's easy to follow. So at the end, for Sn, should be Tn minus 1 plus Tn, right? When you look at 4, it's same as 3 and 4, right? So if it's n, then it must be n minus 1 and n, right? So, we, <clears throat> we act, I actually, actually show the, the, the cases, but we didn't de do the, the proof before, right? So this is only conjecture. Looks like it, it, it's, it's working like that way, right? So uh, the conjecture should be like a for any positive 
integer n, we have Sn. The square number is sum of the triangle number and be careful about those numbers, right? For that. Okay, then <coughs> let's just explain it, that one uh, using some uh, diagrams, right? So this is just a not general case, but just using T5 and T6. So T5 means the triangle number with each side has five dots, right? But it's a triangle number, so we have to make triangle shape like this way. Right? You see that? So that is T5. If you want, oh, maybe you can just put this way. Okay, let me make sure how many dots we have. Then we need to calculate, or actually we want to ex explain it like a T5 plus T6 is same as S6, right? And we know that is 6 squared for that. Then what kind of diagram is good for that and how we're going to arrange it, right? T sub 6 means 6 dots each, right? But how about we, let's put them in this order, right? So like a six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. One more, right? So one, two, three, four, five, like that, right? Then when you look at those, we need those points. I'm trying to arrange them in kind of greedy way. Like that, right? So we have this triangle shape, and each side has six dots, right? So that portion is T sub six. But when you look at this entire shape all together, it's actually six by six dots all together, right? And therefore, there are six square dots, right? 36 of them, and that should be S sub 6, right? Okay, so we can explain that way. And you can generalize this one for arbitrary n case, right? n minus 1 and n. Then it should be S sub n, right? Which is n square. So, but the diagram should have include some dots in, inside us, right? I mean, so we only look at this way, but I think it's a good explanation about how it's going to work using some graphical uh, figures. So now let's just really prove, mathematical proof of this one, right? For general case. So let's start with Tn minus 1 plus Tn. And do you remember the formula? It's uh, n minus 1, n minus 1 plus 1, right? Over 2. So Tn is n times n plus 1 over 2, right? I just use that formula from triangle numbers. Then in this case, it's n minus 1 times n, right? Over 2. And n times n plus 1 over 2. So n squared minus n, you really did it, right? Plus n squared plus n with the same denominator too, so let me put together then these n's are cancelling out so 2n squared over 2, which is n squared that is s sub n okay. so that should be the proof in the last two theorems uh, we are not going to prove it, but uh, there are other kind of interesting kind of formulas about the integers, right? positive integers, for example so in legendary theorem uh, he actually uh, state that uh, any positive integer n can be written by sum of four square numbers. Okay, and without instead of proving it, uh, I made that Excel file so you can check 
uh, this fact, right? So please check this uh, Excel okay, uh, in, in course Blackboard, or download and open it, and you can see that. So in the next uh, video, I'm going to just show you how you're going to check this stuff. And the same thing happens for next theorem. Okay, it says that uh, every past integer is a sum of n most n n one number. Okay, so <laughs> means n most means you don't need to use exact number n, right? It's okay, just up to n. And n gono means right. So if it's a trigonal, like a triangle number, then any integer can be written by n most three trigonal number. If you use a square number, like of, then it's a four gono, right? So then we need n most four uh, square numbers, right? Like that, right? So up to n most five uh, pentagonal number, right? Five gono number like that. Okay? So this is really generalization of the whole thing. And once again. Instead of prove it, you can check this fact using this Excel file. Okay? So once again, I'm going to show that on the next video.